So you have these earrings. These earrings were acquired at a thrift store. How much did you pay for these earrings? Uh, 59, 59 Canadian dollars. So $59. So let's call it 60 bucks because I can do the math easier. So $60 for these. How old do you think they are? Uh, Microphone to your mouth. That's my girl. Years you old. think they're 200 years old? So you think they're from 1819. You think they're from before 1819. That would be good. They're not. <laughs> no, no. They are all there from about 1875 to about 1895. So they're more than 100 years old. They're in. A, they have a particular. Um, they have a particular post setting that was introduced around the Civil War era. But I think they're later than the Civil War. American Civil War, 1865. This particular set has what is called a baroque pearl in it, sometimes called rokai. It is basically a naturally developed pearl. It's not a cultured pearl. It's set in rose gold from the late 19th century and value on the earrings about 800 to $850. You paid 60 at the thrift store. If you think stuff isn't at a thrift store, if you think people aren't donating stuff to a thrift store or giving it away, you are wrong. There's a lot of money to be made in objects bought for cheap at a thrift store. These are about 850. What did you say? Is that American dollars? That's American dollars, 850. Everything I'm doing is American dollars. So I want to first look at the box. Actually, it belongs to Vicky. That's all right. So we've got this, Vicky and Steve brought this. It's a beautiful formed box. So you know this piece dates to the early years, late 19th, early 20th century. And I have a pair of earrings. You may be able to get up. A pair of earrings. Right? And also a brooch that sits in the same box. And this particular brooch has an armature. So I want you to think of the Statue of Liberty, right? She's basically an armature. And on top of that, that inside, that armature, that holds up, of course, the torch and holds the book and such, there is actually elements attached to that armature. That's the same thing here with the coral attached to this rose gold, copper and yellow gold armature. And it actually looks like it's been threaded, right, on the back. If you look at the brooch from the back, you look at the brooch here. It does not have a place where you can actually hang the brooch from a actual, excuse me, um, chain. So that's what you're looking at here. Now this particular figure shows you sort of a little cupid, right, in a in a, a little cherub or cupid in a environment of all different flowers. Well remember, Venus and Cupid, Venus is the goddess of gardens and love, and Cupid of course is affiliated with, again, gardens and love. So you'll see oftentimes Cupid being associated with flowers, plants, plant life, and such. That's what you're seeing here. Coral. Coral is very important in the 19th century because coral, in fact, is thought to be, and even today, is still thought to be the type of element or the type of natural material that can ward off illness. So you will see people who have some kind of ailment wear pieces of jewelry that are made of coral. And that's what you have. It's very rare because people who weren't ill did not want to, in fact, wear coral. They didn't want to sort of tempt fate. That's what you're looking at here. This set dates to the latter part of the 1880s until about 1910. Your earrings and your brooch as a set should remain a set and be sold as a set. They are made in the United States and value on this set between $1,750 and $2,000 for these three pieces. How did you acquire them, Vicki? Same garage sale as the Same garage sale as you got some other jewelry pieces, and what did you pay for this? Did you pay more or less than $10? I paid 10 for that one and 10 You paid 10 for this one and 10 for that one. So this particular piece is worth almost $2,000 for your $10 investment. Now, people say, oh, you're not getting that today at yard sales anymore. You would be surprised at what's at thrift stores, what's at yard sales, what is just being given away, or what people cannot properly identify. In the 1950s, you'll see replications of these types of pieces in all different types of plastics, 
people can't always tell the difference, yours is the real thing. Really quite beautiful, really quite fine. Well, what you have is one, two, three, four, five, six, total carat weight of diamonds. And you have, I know, one, two, three, four, five, six, total carat weight. So the diamonds are four, that's a quarter. You have one and one half total carat weight of diamonds in the bracelet. And then you have another half a carat in the diamonds, in the diamonds, in the earrings. They are jadeite, which is white nephrite, right? White jade with the diamond inset. They're set in 14 karat yellow gold. I would say that the value for your set, which a set usually is a bracelet, a necklace, and earrings, but in this case you have the bracelet and the earrings, which dates to about probably sometime in the 1960s. Value on the set anywhere between $350 and $450. It's nice. The diamonds have nice fire. You want to make sure they have a good clear cut and a high carat weight. <clears throat> Nice collection. Do you keep them here? In this? Was this just for transport? No, I keep them there. Do you really? Let's stop doing that. <laughs> Can you do that? Okay. Can we invest in like even just a little tiny box? Okay. Right. The reason why is I want them to lay flat. In this, they're actually on top of one another. So they're basically going to get all crunched up. We don't want to do that. Those date from between 1900 and 1915 and value on the pair about $400. They're made in New York. All right. So these are nice. So these are, um, these are one, let's see if I can count. One, two, three, four, five. We've got five set stones, individually set stones. I've got about, I would say, a one third carat for the two top stones. So that's two, uh, two sixes. So that's a carat. And then you've got another three carats. Ah, so you're probably looking at about three and a half to four carats total carat weight. Here, these earrings. If you were to purchase these earrings, replacement value, which is what I've given you for all of these based on a sales record where a similar piece has sold for all the objects that we've, I've appraised. If you were to purchase earrings like these today, you'd probably be somewhere in the $3,800 to $4,000 range for these, okay? I want you to have the prongs checked. How many of you have a diamond ring on your hand? Diamond ring on your hand. When was the last time you had the prongs checked to make sure that the diamond stone is secure? None of you do this. Once a year on your birthday, Valentine's Day, your anniversary, go into that jewelry store and get those prongs checked. Make sure. Do it every single year. Once a year, I want you to go in and get the diamond ring checked so the stone doesn't fall out of the setting. And while you're there, get yourself a matching bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the husbands go, oh, no, Dr. Laura, you're kidding me. We lost you. Oh, God. I lost you, right? Stephanie, sweetheart, how did you acquire the seed, pearl, and gilt earrings? They were in an antique store about 20 years ago, and uh, I fell in love with them. You fell in love. I fell in love with them, Dr. Lori. I had to have it. Oh, I fell in love. Did you tell the antique dealer who you're buying them from that you were falling in love? I really yeah. have to have them. I've been looking for them for so long. Don't do that, good Lord. I just kept look, well, looking at them. Kept looking at them. You're kind of circling, right? Kind of like if you're coming into George Bush Airport. You're kind of circling. <laughs> There's a little bit of turbulence. You're circling. So you're circling them, right? Your husband's going, yeah, that's what she's doing. Dr. Lori knows. So you, you're kind of looking at them. You kind of like them. You're not sure. Did you like the price? It was, it was reasonable, but um, my sisters actually bought them for me. Your sisters bought them for you, so you had to get people to chip in. Doesn't sound like she liked the price. <laughs> Sounds like it's high. Oh, your husband's going, I did not like the price. They're like about $250. Oh, $250 for these I in my hand. Was, yes. How, old, how long ago was that? that? 20 years, 19 years ago, exactly. Are they real pearls? I believe so. Why do you believe so? Um, what makes you believe that? How would you know? Now her husband's I getting didn't, worried. I didn't, I didn't chew on them. You didn't no. chew on them? Yeah, let's take your pearls, put them in your mouth. Little crunchy, right? Little crunchy. Everybody's putting stuff in their mouth. What are you doing? <laughs> Would you have your grandkids put stuff in your mouth? No. Don't put the pearls in your mouth. You don't need to do that. You need to look for this. Consistent luster. Is the color the same? Consistent shape. Is the shape the same? Consistent size. Is the size the same? Right? If it's not, you probably don't have cultured pearls. You might have something that is oftentimes referred to as 
fish skeleton pearls, where they take a fish, they gut the fish, they take out the skeleton, they grind it down into a powder, and then they put water and they basically mold it into pearl shape. That's not what you want. That's what you got. Oh. oh. I know I have to break some hearts. I'll make a millionaire or two, but I'll break some hearts. So 250 bucks, right? 20 years ago. Are they 14 karat gold? I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? It's all on my website. It's all on YouTube. <laughs> you got to have a mark. It should say 14 karat gold, 10 karat gold, 750, 585. It'll have a mark. Yours has no marks. It's gold filled. It's a base metal, an inexpensive metal that is then actually dipped in 1 1,000th of an inch called vermeil gold. It's a little bit of gold, but not a lot of gold, right? Hi, Jerry. <laughs> right, okay. That's what you basically are looking at. This particular piece, this particular pair is worth about $175. So now, before you all go, ooh, ooh, she lost all that money, her sisters put in all that money. Okay. Do you wear them? I do. Do you like them? I do. Okay, there's a value to that. It's when you buy it and then it sits in the drawer, right? How old, how old do you think? I think they're definitely dated between 1938 and 1945. They are World War II era, and they are very popular then. Anytime you see a position like this where the actual rod is going straight through the pearl, you don't have a cultured pearl usually because they're not going to violate a pearl like that. But if you, look, if you like them, they're fine. It's not bad. It's not like you lost thousands of dollars. But before you buy it, you should know what it is. <clears throat> they're very nice. I understand that, honey. I know. And they're beautiful. And jewelry is one of those special things. You know, you like jewelry. That's why. You never can have enough jewelry.